the end of last week, I found out about it, and I think it's what you were alluding to, and I know I got a phone call from you today, but also got a phone call from uh, Mr. Floyd over in the Demetrius Holmes HOA. And it was regarding, I guess, a gun shop opening up on the corner of Goldwyn, is no, Goldwyn and Orange Center. Yes, I, I had no idea myself about that being opened up to Mr. Floyd, uh, bring it to my attention last Thursday. Uh, I did have opportunity to speak with Chief Mina regarding that. From what I understand, Chief Mina didn't even know it was getting ready to open up there. Uh, but he has gone over to speak with the landlord of the facility from what I understood coming from him about security. You know, um, I know we don't need a gun shop in our community. Of course, it's not in District 5, but I will be trying to bring some attention to it. I don't know, I'm certain it must have been zoned some kind of way, the zoning piece slid in there. Uh, it's one thing to have security during the day, but what about the night, <laughs> right? And we know we don't need people breaking in there, stealing guns to, inf uh, to, to mm -hmm. influx the community with guns. We just had a murder over there no more than a month ago in the El Camino uh, part of of Orange Center there on that corner. And, and, and we'll be honest, we all pass by that, that block and we see the way it looks. It needs to be cleaned up a bit, yeah. more or less than pouring guns there. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you what my commitment is and what uh, I will be going back to speak with our legal uh, department is that uh, to try to put a moratorium in place, especially in District 5. You know, I don't have a whole lot of say what well, we I do in a sense, and I, I haven't spoke with Commissioner Ings yet on that. We're just all coming to terms that that gun shop is there. I'm not sure how if he's been briefed or whatever, because I haven't had that conversation. Uh, but I know we don't need, if there was a loophole, and I'm certain there was possibly a loophole, it must, it has to be there legally, or else they couldn't have got it permitted. But I can state that uh, uh, what I'm uh, doing, and I've spoke, reached out to have a meeting with our legal department and our zoning department to make sure here on the west side that we create some type of ordinance that we can't, that no other gun shops can uh, come to this community. Uh, so bear with me, I'm still finding out the details on how that happened, how we can prevent it from going forward. I don't know what I can do, right? I'll be honest with you all, I've always been honest with you. I don't know what I can do uh, with the existing one there. Uh, Maybe it's the community that would stand up and go and stand in front of the place and say, we don't want no guns. <laughs> I mean, that, that's possible. I mean, you really have the power and uh, you can come down to City Hall. I mean, I will be there with you advocating for it because we got enough guns that's on the streets and it's killing our babies and it's killing, it's killing our sons and our daughters and our nephews and our parents. Right? Our office work was brought to the attention about two and a half weeks or so ago about the gun store opening up and of course we immediately contacted City Hall to try and get some information and it appears as though some of the commissioners did not were not aware of it taking place. But what we have found out after talking with folks who are over the uh, business permitting area is that there's just not a whole lot that they can do because it is zoned retail. By it being zoned retail, they can kind of ease anything in there. However, what they said they were going to do is kind of look at some of the permitting to see whether or not um, they were going to allow them or any problems they were going to have with permitting because what we found out, they had a hard hold put on it. So the question was status, what does hard hold mean? Hard hold basically meant that they were kind of didn't want it across the desk area, it had to go up for it to be approved. 
and apparently there's not a whole lot because the email that I got back saying, hey, we're monitoring it, but there's just not a whole lot they can do. But as Commissioner Hill kind of said, is that what the residents can do is go out there with signs and say, hey, we don't want this here, you need to leave. Now, after researching it, it's coming from a company called B&H Gun Supply, which is out of the Merritt Island area over there, and it is strictly for law enforcement, uh, first responders, and so forth. It is not for the general public. So on the door, they've got the roll door that sits there because this question came up about it because I'm like, we're right next to it. Our office is kind of next to it, so that's why we kind of stepped in to see what was going on. That actual, uh, there is a tenant that's in there. <clears throat> and what we have found out is, is that it has on the door limited access, restricted access is what's on the door. Oh yeah, I got that good too. <laughs> but the concern has been <clears throat> everybody who's standing out around there. Mm -hmm. um, you can sit down and ride by there and you'll see pictures of all the guys just hanging out. Yeah. So we noticed that they wasn't in front of that building anymore. They moved a little farther down in front of the palm tree. Yeah. So you got trash sitting up in there. I mean, it's just unbelievable yeah. how they just don't keep up. This is kind of like what's sitting on the door here <clears throat> where they're saying, you know, restricted assets, and they let you know who all can come in there. But as Commissioner Hill was saying, that's daytime. What's going to happen at nighttime? See, that's the so I think they're trying to hold up on putting a sign out on the building that says gun supply because somebody wants to say, hey, where that gun store that's supposed to be getting up in there? Okay. We're like, what gun store are you talking about? That's when we found out about it. So. Mm.